Gustav. Annette, the success of this plan lies on your shoulders. We've got this, Your Majesty. I swear, we'll make my uncle see the light. You sure about this, Dimitri? I probably shouldn't be saying this in front of the Baron's relatives, but... The Western Lords could end up convincing Baron Dominic to lead them once more. Killing him now could spare us a storm of grief later. It would be quicker, I'll admit that. But convincing him to join our cause will pay dividends later on. I'm sure of it. Not to mention that the Baron's eldest son possesses a crest of his own. Even if the father falls, what's to stop the other lords from promoting his heir as their standard bearer? That's exactly why I'd rather this end with Baron Dominic as an ally, not a corpse. But first, we'll need to whittle down the armies of the other Western Lords. Only then can we seek an opportunity to reach him. Dimitri, we should get moving. Right you are. Our numbers in this battle will be few. Much of our army is off defending Aryan Road from the Empire. In other words, this fight shall not be an easy one. But we cannot afford to fail. And I will need all of your help to ensure we do not. <laughs> I wonder what the Dimitri of a few months ago would say if he could hear you now. For what it's worth, I like this version of you better. You seem more... at ease. <laughs> at ease, hmm? Yes. Perhaps I am. Look at you go, actually making friends. I can tell this has been quite a fulfilling time for you. Not to say I'm not pleased myself. I only hope you haven't forgotten your true purpose among all this camaraderie. The Ashen Demon. If you ever hope to reach the highest of heights, you need a powerful aspiration driving you forward. You know, when we first met, I was struck by the undeniable might of your will. Such strength laid bare the tremendous potential you hold for growth. But if you lose sight of your driving purpose, the growth I hope so dearly for you may not in fact come to pass. Uh, hey, Arval? Yes? Don't you think you're getting a bit too obsessed with this little grudge match? Maybe so. Though I don't believe that's all there is to it. And my purpose? Why can't we just say it's fighting for Dimitri and call it a day? Right now, that's just as important to me as surpassing the Ashen Demon. Maybe even more so. Hmm... Arval, out with it. I suppose it just feels like our destiny. Like it's something we're meant to do.
another day, another stage to conquer. If I count Elador, they sure aren't holding anyone back. Where's my uncle in all of this? As we discussed, we will focus our efforts on persuading the Baron to join our cause and chip away at the others on route. We march together. I will make my brother see reason if it is the last thing I do. With all the progress we've made, the Western Lords are probably feeling the heat pretty hard. I bet he'll be receptive. Persuading the battle without you this time. Stay vigilant. Out of the way! Such foolishness! Now, show them the price of their folly. Well, I'll stay vigilant. Yeah? Stay out of my way. Nobody's stopping me from reaching my uncle. Yeah? Take. Not a problem. I've awaited this moment. This stronghold will fall! My apologies for the trouble. Let us continue onward.
dead ahead. Onward! Yeah. I must speak with you, my brother. Please. Gustav, how did you break through? So you mean to sway our precious Baron Dominic to your cause? Well, I won't allow it. There are so many of them. We can't let them reach my father. <laughs> You see, the Western Lords have no hope of winning this fight, my brother. And together, we can put an end to that seductress. Yet if I join you, we should fail. What becomes of us then? What becomes of the citizens of my barony? However, my heart lies not in this fight. If you can promise victory, then I will join you. Thank you, my brother. You will not regret this decision. I'll do my best. With my uncle on our side, we've got nothing to be afraid of. So this is the sting of betrayal, hmm? Allow me to put you in your place. Oh, my dear Titanus, hunt these beasts down. and see him safe. You're dead! This was our only option, Your Majesty. The Western Lords, we... No words can spare you now. You may plead your case to my father, beyond the veil of death. I've got this! Another one of Cornelius' weapons? Death will be immeasurable if such a monstrosity is let loose. But how? Cornelius said we would win this handily! No working with Cornelius, then. Were the Western Lords involved in the tragedy? Justice lies with us. I feel no shame for what we've done. Why must so many die for the sake of your so-called justice? this whole time my turn our knowledge runs far deeper than you barbarians could ever hope to understand and that's the last of the reinforcements things should be a little calmer now let us march my brother we can reach Cornelia via the drawbridge to the east Got a f 
How dare you? Let's see how you like a taste of the Vistum's power. What is this? Those are the same weapons we fought back in Ferdiad. There must be a way to shut them down somewhere nearby. What's up with those soldiers? But they're going after the Baron. We must. <laughs> As if we'll let them. We've already seen those weapons back in Ferdy. We know what to do. I can kill the Baron. <laughs> Restoratives in order. This may not halt the attacks. We'll at least lessen their impact. Take a breather. We should capture the strong group first, though. You're done! All right. Time to shut this thing down. Just be good little rats and die like you're supposed to. They just don't stop coming. Come on, let's take them out. King of Fargus, allow us to join the fray. You've come. I will not forget this kindness. All units, forward! You're done! Support for the Dusker? All the tricks. What do we do now? Calm yourself, bro. We still have plenty of cards up our sleeve. More of those weapons. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do my best. I'm a little. We'll never reach that wish now. Let us help you. We'll shut those things down. Take this! You're calling for reinforcements, are you? How rude. I suppose it's time for the Western Knights to make their appearance. The enemy will those weapons should the warriors from Duskar fall. 
We must bolster their defenses. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. You've exceeded all of our expectations. These weapons continue to amaze me, no matter how many times we fight them. They're like nothing I've ever seen before. That's one down. Let's get a move on to the next one. Out of the way! You're done! I'll do my best. I'll back them up. We will proceed as planned. We must stri- Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do what I can. Reinforcements, but we must stay vigilant. I've away those guarding the weapons. Shall we? We cannot be defeated. I shall take the lead. That's that, then. On to Cornelia. Clever little vermin, aren't they? I'll need some time to reactivate the Viscum. I trust you know what to do, Count. Yes, of course. I suppose that means I'll be going out there. Elro himself is joining this battle, hmm? Yeah. It matters not. Do what you must to protect those controls. I'll do my best. Let's begin. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. We will proceed as planned. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Hurry not, King of Fungus. We will not let the controls fall into enemy hands. We cannot let them reclaim those weapons. Do not allow the enemy near the strongholds. Send help to the Duster soldiers. They need assistance controlling those strongholds. I don't understand. Where did I go wrong? Enough of this, Cornelia. None remaining can shield you from our vengeance. I'd hope to keep my hands clean. It seems there's nothing for it. Entertain me, boy. So, you finally show yourself. There will be no escape for you this time, I assure you. I've got... We've managed to fight them off for now. Nicely done, everyone. Where did you really get these weapons anyway? New Kingdom dogs are good at giving chase. I must admit. Let us go together! 
in her now but keep your heads on straight and watch out for those weapons i lose curse this feeble flesh seize the witch it's time she told us the truth what a horrible way to treat a saint your mages have met their end, Cornelia, and soon, so will you. You cannot warp yourself out of this. Now let me ask you again. What became of my stepmother? Does she yet live? <laughs> no. Long dead, I'm afraid. She killed the husband who kept her from the sweet little daughter she loved so dearly, only to lose her own life at that same daughter's hand. You can't mean... <laughs> Didn't I already tell you? Your stepsister has the answers. <sighs> so this body has reached its end. How pitifully frail you all are. If I seek the truth, I'll have to retrieve it from the Emperor herself. Cornelia said as much before her spirit left this realm. Only a fool would take that temptress at her word. But I do believe there is truth to her claim. Edelgard knows something. The Empire was surely involved in my father's death. And perhaps she was as well. Hold on, Bor. You owe us all an explanation here. The Emperor is your stepsister? Hmm? Ah, uh, my apologies. I suppose I never mentioned it. Uh, so if I've got this straight, after you were born, your dad got remarried to her mom? Correct. Though the truth of my stepmother's background was never revealed to the public, as you can imagine. Of course, all that is in the past now. There is no reason to keep hiding it from my closest allies. Your Majesty, if I may, I can handle the explanation. That will no doubt prove faster. You knew my father many years longer than I did. It all started 20 years ago, when a dreadful plague ravaged Ferdiad. King Lambert's wife was among those claimed by its spread. In hopes of bringing an end to the epidemic, the king sought experts from across the land. Scholars, doctors, mages. Among those, it was an imperial scholar by the name of Cornelia who finally turned the page on our suffering and put an end to the pestilence. Oh yes, I've heard about that. She helped develop many of the districts in the capital as well, didn't she? It's a little weird to think she's the one who planned out the places we all lived. They even used to call her a saint. What could have happened to her to make her so... different? Interestingly enough, she never asked for any kind of reward for her feat. Well, at first. In lieu of any compensation, monetary or otherwise, she requested that we rescue one of her old friends from the Empire. Which is the story of how the late king came to meet his future wife, Lady Patricia. Or should I say, Lady Anselma. I don't get it. Why would she need saving? I'm not sure of all the details myself, 
But I know she was banished from the court after becoming involved in some sort of political dispute. Lambert always did have a soft spot for those in need. And of course, in the thick of all that, the two developed feelings for each other. It's difficult to say for sure if it was love, but it was something. Anyway, that's all I have. Looking back on the events now, it's hard to know just how much of it was part of Cornelia's plot. In any case, I must learn more about my stepmother's death. I have no doubt it connects in some manner to the truth about the tragedy. Who was Cornelia working for? And what was Edelgard's role in all of it? If I truly want to know, well, there's only one person I can turn to. You want to get answers from the Emperor of the very region we're at war with? Is that even possible? I mean, Edelgard is our enemy. She and her like have stamped the life out of so many of our allies. And we've done the same to hers. I don't see how the two sides could just sit down for a chat after all that. Perhaps not. Make no mistake, she is still our bitter enemy. But I've no other choice. We have extracted all the information we could from the Western Lords. And as Cornelia has departed this world, the Emperor is the only one left we can turn to. Gustav, I'll be leaving Reconstruction of the West to you and the Baron. Understood, Your Majesty. Do you mean to make Ferrarian Road? Indeed I do. Even the most impregnable fortress in all Fodlan cannot hold off an onslaught forever. I know not how or when Edelgard will make her presence known, but we must hold the Silver Maiden by any means necessary. Azure Gleam. Reunion at the Fortress City. The Kingdom Army crushes the Western Lords, and with them, the budding civil war. But amidst the chaos, Adrestia strikes at Arian Road. Dimitri marches on the Fortress City at once, and challenges the Emperor herself to save those trapped within the Silver Maiden's walls. Let's reacquaint ourselves with the situation. Our forces have already pulled out of Arendel territory and withdrawn to the fortress city of Arian Road. The same city which finds itself now besieged by the Imperial Army. Most troubling, Your Majesty. The Knights of Saros dispatch their very best to the scene, but they find themselves at the sword end of the Emperor's personal guard. Still, the Citadel will not fall easily. The stalemate could continue for some time yet. Can we really afford to wait, though? Aryan Road's supplies have got to be running thin by now. If we go without proper preparation, the Imperial Army will simply crush us. Agreed. We should be using the time we have to strike in a manner most favorable to our situation. What we need to do is sever the Imperial supply chain. Then, overwhelm and exterminate the withering remains of Edelgard's army. Hold on. You want to win the whole war in one go? Indeed I do. We have been gifted the opportunity of a lifetime, and I do not intend to let it slip through my fingers. It will be a pincer attack, with the fortress at the Empire's front and our battalion at their rear. Even with their larger numbers, we will hold the advantage. All the more so with the Knights of Saros in charge of defending Arian Road. And even if the Emperor herself escapes, we'll have still dealt a huge blow to the Empire's military. Oh, I feel nervous all of a sudden. I never expected we'd reach a decisive battle like this so soon.
Will we truly be able to win? We can do this. I know we can. The terrain here is in our favor. As long as we press that advantage, we'll come out on top. Let us rally the troops, Your Majesty. Yes. Onward. To victory. There we have it. The Empire and the Kingdom finally squaring off in broad daylight. What a fascinating development. And a troubling one. I am well acquainted with that look of yours, Claude. What could you be scheming this time? If I recall, you made a similar face the other afternoon, when we swept aside the Imperial Army ourselves. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm just contemplating the fate of the Alliance the only way I know how. Don't worry about him, Lawrence. He doesn't always look it, but Claude takes this stuff seriously. I promise. She's right, you know. I'm constantly thinking about our next plan of action. Thankfully, the Empire's turned its beady little eyes away from us for now. It seems they're focusing all their attention on the West. And we owe that title shift to Duke Gloucester's feigned betrayal. The former Duke Gloucester, I mean. Thanks to him, we managed to run the Empire clean out of Leicester. But there's more to their strategy shift than that. Do you speak of the unrest within the kingdom? Such internal struggles would certainly leave them rather defenseless in the wake of an attack. But the situation may change anew at any moment. We mustn't grow complacent. If they emerge victorious against the kingdom, it is difficult to imagine what course of action the Imperial Army would take next. Yeah. Whatever happens in this battle, it'll shape the future of Fodlin for years to come. I might be brilliant, but even I'm having trouble predicting who's going to come out on top. But whoever it is, I bet anything we'll need to strike a deal to keep them at bay. I guess we should be ready for either outcome. Oh, and Lawrence, I'll be asking all sorts of little favors from you, so plan on being busy for a long while. If needs must, I would do anything for the Alliance. We can't stand in the crossfire between the Kingdom and the Empire forever. It's high time the Alliance grabbed the reins of history and started steering in our own direction. <laughs>